today I'm going to tell you something and you're gonna be like, Ashley, that's ridiculous. But just wait and hear me out because I have good reasoning. Hey y'all, welcome to Disney Cruisers. If we haven't met, I'm Ashley, I love Disney cruising. If you're planning your cruise or you already know you're addicted to Disney cruising, then consider subscribing to this channel. If you are already a part of our family, then give me a big like down below so I know that you're here. I'm going to tell you something that I do. I force myself to do it. It is so, so hard to do, so hard. But I do it and I feel like it's beneficial to me and it really helps me when I go on my cruise. This is also gonna sound like way not smart for me to say and some of you are gonna be like girl you cray cray but listen this is what I do like a month if you can go longer than a month before your cruise the further out from your cruise you do this the better but I know it is so hard but when I hit that month mark I definitely go cold turkey on Disney cruise vlogs I know, it's so hard to do. I love cruise vlogs because it gets me through the hump where I have many, many days ahead of me before my next cruise. It helps to see which itineraries I wanna go on or maybe some things that I miss. Like, I love seeing people's excitement on their cruises. I live my life through them. I love cruise vlogs, but I really benefit from not watching them right before my cruise because then I feel like I've already seen everything or like, I feel like I just did it even though I didn't but like you just see everything it helps give me like a fresh perspective when I'm on my cruise and then I can actually realize hey this is my cruise I'm not comparing it so much to a vlog that I watch you know you don't want to fall into that trap where you're like well I saw so and so do this so I need to make sure I do it or that's not what so and so's food look like I'm getting screwed it helps me to stay positive and to have fun and enjoy my actual vacation. It's so hard, especially when new ones pop up and you just gotta ignore them. And then I tell myself, oh, I'll have so many cruise vlogs to be able to watch when I get home for my next little break between cruises when I'm like in pain because it hurts so bad that I'm not on a cruise ship. So now I also wanna say that if you are going on your cruise, go ahead and vlog it and post it because there are people just like me addicted to watching Disney Cruise videos I watch them all the time. So if you post it, I will definitely watch it and that would make me so, so happy, but not a month before my cruise. I also haven't even seen a video on the new Sail Away party when it comes up on people's vlogs. I just um, skip over it because I don't wanna see it until I'm actually on the ship and get to see it. It's gonna be really hard if I can't get on one of those maiden voyages of the new ships and people post their vlogs before I've been on it. Ooh, that's gonna be so hard not to watch them. So hard, oh my goodness. I have to get on those first voyages. I just have to. So whoever's going, if you need somebody else in your room to like pay a third or a fourth, hit me up. So let me know what you think. Am I crazy for doing this? Do you understand why I do it? Are you gonna try and do it? I wanna know. Bye cruisers.